Now that you have your course set up, it's time to explore how to fill this course with great content, assignments, discussions, and quizzes. First, let's look at adding materials. There are six basic types of materials you can add to a course. Use the Add Materials button to access these. Assignments are for work you want students to complete or upload, and assignments are great for drop boxes to easily manage electronic work submission. Tests and quizzes are pretty self-explanatory. We will look at this tool in depth later. Add file or link lets you upload files from your computer or your Google Docs and share links to other web pages. Discussions will create a discussion forum or thread. Media albums allow you to share or create areas for students to share multimedia elements like pictures, video, or audio files. Adding a page is an option with a lot of flexibility and many people prefer this option to the add file or link choice because it gives you a rich text editor to add images and text, which is really helpful clarification for your learners. And since you can still add links right within your text and still attach files, it's a really powerful option in Schoology. We'll explore the pages editor in greater detail soon. You can also import items that you've already saved in your resources from right here. After you create various materials, they're sorted into the appropriate categories in the materials index below. The materials index allows students to quick link to say all the discussions in a course. However, this may or may not be a good thing depending on your needs. For example, if I want students to work through a unit on clouds by first watching a video and then reading an article and then participating in a discussion to clarify their understanding and finally completing a synthesis activity, some students might be tempted to use the materials index to go straight to the activity without completing the other steps ahead of time. Plus, the activity index requires lots of clicking in and out of different areas to find the right item. I will generally hide everything in the materials index by selecting the hide link. To change this later, just use the show link to reverse your settings. If you plan to only use your Schoology course to host online discussions, a blended option might be to hide all items in the materials index except discussions. Instead of using the materials index to have students navigate in your courses, you may wish to create folders. Creating folders at the top level is a better way to organize your content. Folders give you more visibility options and make it much easier for your students to navigate through your course by setting up learning units they can progress through. To create a folder, use the Add Materials button and choose Add Folder. Click on the folder's name after it's created to open it, and from here you can now add all the same material options as you had before, or you can create subfolders. You can move items from the Materials Index to a folder or subfolder by going to the desired material type in the Materials Index, locating the item, and using the gearbox next to it. Folders make it easier for you to move content around in your course and easier for students to navigate the course. Before you start adding content to your practice class, develop an organizational plan in your mind and use folders to create this. After your folders are made, practice adding some of the different types of content. And finally, decide if you want to leave your materials index links showing or if you'd rather hide those from students.